mic. Yeah. You genuinely sound infinitely better. Hey, uh, Nerlis. Oh, I do? Oh, yeah, so much better. Nerlis, guess wow. what I found? Uh, What's thank up? you. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, to Winston's Master Duel Roundtable. Although I think some people thought it was Winstonia's just for a bit, but that's okay. Winstona sounds so cool, though. It does. It kind of does, not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, we do have uh, digital evidence of Evan suggesting otherwise for that group chat. <laughs> I, I, I will not be clip-chimped in my own fucking community. Fuck you, Chara. Ah, uh, you see, that's how you already know you're starting to make it when your community <laughs> bullies you of shit you say out of context. Uh, anyways. Be proud. <laughs> anyways, I am joined by the illustrious not Chara, aka Desert Dust, aka whatever the fuck you want to call him. Hey, it's just it's just not Chara at this point. Yeah, it is. Nerlis, uh, you and, and Digi, aka TDW underscore eighty twenty one. We are. Leo. This is Matt Winston's Master Duel Roundtable, and let's get into the news. So, Chara, you're alluding earlier that we're gonna have some leaks. Go into. It. Would you mind going into some more detail? Uh, sure. Let's go for everyone's hated thing. Uh, Fire Kings are coming, baby. Yeah, well, we knew that. We knew that was coming. Yeah, no, like the full support mm -hmm. like, uh, coming out on the 6th. Oh, Lord, y'all thought Snake Eyes was some bullshit now. Woo uh, also on the wait. news, uh, just to say, just to counter that point, uh, Snake Eyes literally just took an Iron Dildo. Uh, yeah, Snash just got put the one. It sure did. And so did the wanted uh, poster, so, I'm fairly comfortable. The wanted poster. Wait, uh, what, I'm wait. assuming after... Hold on. What? Wait, so wait, no. wait, what Have you not one? seen the ban list yet? I haven't seen the ban list yet. Yeah, I got another oh, shit no. today, Bro's behind. Ain't He's no way. He's behind by a whole ass day. So, uh, Cliff notes, uh, Calamity's being banned. Uh, like Snatch got put to one. Wanted got put to one. Uh, Sky Striker Mobilized got put to three. And that's all we care about. Pretty much, yeah. Everything else is just... Mid. Mid. Uh, that one, uh, one of the fucking, uh, Chris Ron Hulk victims got un fully unbanned, uh, which was, yeah. that was whatever the fucking Blackwing Steam Co. Oh, actually, no, this is another one that's actually interesting. Sprite Jet got put to two again. Really? Well, I mean, the Sprite, and, uh, en the sprite Engine ain't and, what it used to be. Really and is. Rite of Erismere has been put to two, three again. Uh, again, the Adventure Engine ain't what it used to be. It's still one of those engines that you keep in the pocket okay, just in case. So here's but... the thing. If your deck can go, can can pop the fuck off without using a normal summon effect, slot an Adventure. If it, you need your normal summon effect, like you're running Snash, and you need Snash, don't run Adventure. But say, like, purely... If you can get away with doing purelys without normal selling them, you can do slide an adventure. So just that's a free so, fucking omni negate. So just for everybody listening who doesn't remember, uh, Snash means snake eye ash. Mm. Sort of that is like the official name it has been given by the community. Yeah, yeah I, I remember people were talking like ash. I'm like, are we talking about blossom or snake? All right. Eye? Next, our leak is this from the OCG side that we are getting that the TCG doesn't get yet. Ooh, Val Monica's. We're getting the it's Valmonicas? Pendulum archetype. Yeah, we'll get we the sure Pendulum archetype. I've heard, I've heard some stuff about them. Um, they ain't hot shit. They suck. Anyways. Fair enough. Uh, well, another it's... thing from the OCG it, side, it, we're getting the new Sky Striker cards from OCGs. Really? Oh, new Striker shit. Nice. Yeah, we're getting the new Striker shit. Let's go. What is, what is, and uh, honestly, what is if we get one, if one of the ones comes through, like, you know how Azalea is kind of a generic now for everybody? A little bit, yeah. If your deck plays Lights or Darks, you can play Azalea. Well, fun fact, I would like to introduce you guys to Camilla. Hello. You mean Camellia? Camellia, yes. Like, it's it's named after the flower. Yes. Anyways, so, what... Find it you, real quick. You, you um, it. Sorry. You are so, to make... So, Sky Striker Ace Camellia. Machine, dark, effect. Would you like to know what's cost to make it? What? What does it cost? Two effect monsters. Oh! She's generic, baby. It is a generic. Must be Link Summon. Can only special summon Sky Striker Ace Camellia once per turn. 
Once per turn, if you have three or less spells in your graveyard, you can send one Sky Striker card from your deck to the graveyard. Free mail. If this card is in your grave, is sent to the graveyard, you can target one monster your opponent controls, special summon this card to their field, and if you do, send that monster to the graveyard. Also, shift control of this card's owner during the end phase of this turn. Hmm. Ew. So, so I think we're getting that. So I think I heard about that coming too. Yep, we're getting Maybe that I'm... in Master Duel. Jeez, and that... there's one more. There's a couple more OCG League uh, ones like uh, Azalea Temperance. I don't know if we're getting that. We're, I know we're getting Combination Maneuver Engage Zero because it has an animation already inside Master Duel. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, so it's a two light or two dark monsters to make Engage Zero, and it will always be treated as a Sky Striker Ace card. I Cannot remember. I remember this. We talked about the, these OCG leaks um, during the last Winston roundtable. Yeah, I wasn't round here table. for that, but um. <laughs> No, yeah, no, this off, was then. announced. This was announced. Come. So, do you know what? Do you know what Engage Zero does then? Uh, I'm wasting my time. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I do remember that it is no. not something. It's not good for link climbing going into the rank four level link four, but it is good for a for it's a board wipe basically. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Pretty so much. You can target one monster with twenty five or more attack. The negate effects until the end of the turn. So the damage step with this card attacked, and you have Sky Striker Ace and Rose in your graveyard. You destroy all monsters your opponent controls. We heckin' love board nukes. Honestly, so, I'm okay with it. I wish Let's Satan go there, was Circle here. Also, Striker Spectra. Who? I, I wish Satan, Satan was here. I wish Satan's one of our... The, our Actually, players. Satan? He's, oh, I was uh, about to say. You know, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> devil. Yeah, YGO devil. He He's a big Striker fan. I would love to hear his opinions on this shit. But, oh, uh, boy. But, yeah. Um, that, yeah. So, I, so Striker players are, are 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 feeding this time Like around. I said, this is why one of your ducks is getting buff. Yep. That's cool. I'll, and I, here I thought you were, like, talking, like... I don't know, invoked or shitals or some shit, but like I play striker. Motherfucker, that's true. I play striker. why would I? Why would I get yeah, not tell you about invokes getting a buff? Like what the fuck? That's true. Invoked haven't gotten even got new cards in fucking dec a decade. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. I'm just hoping we get voiceless voice and you bell sometime soon. Yeah, I do really like voiceless voice a lot. Well, what, what, during so for those who listen who are listening. What we will usually do after uh, we record the podcast is we'll usually, like, hop into YGO Omega and play some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Just to fuck around a little bit and have some fun. I would just like to mention, for the record, record uh, Evan over here, Sims for Rituals, has a hard on for them, point four four seven. And 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 this is a relatively... A, it's a new just, phenomenon. Just put a Cyber Angel in front of him. <laughs> no, I'm not... I'm, if you, now, if put you put a in front of him, he'll go extra insane. Now, if you put nah, I'm 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 more of a fat ass than 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 a boomer. I prefer the new Bellas cards, please and thank you. Solid point. Yeah. So you know, you're, I, I see you're also into Natasha. I see. <coughs> who's, Nata who's Natasha? Sorry, uh, when, Natasha. Well, when you can ta once a return, you can target a face on monster control, gain health, LP equal to half its attack. When a ritual monster you control is targeted for attack, you can negate it. As if this card I... is in your graveyard, if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one other Cyber Angel monster from your graveyard. Then you want to target one monster your opponent controls. Special summon, and if you do, control this, take control of that monster. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm keep it a buck with you, dude. The only Cyber Tasha Angel. That's crazy deck. That is true, but Cy... the only Cyber Angel mm -hmm. I give a damn about is Ben Ten, and she's the homie. She is the grade A ride or die homie because she be getting me my uh. She be getting me my fair searches. Great. <laughs> one, one of my one, one of my fa one of my favorite decks I used to play was and I was it's disgusting. It was um Drytron. Oh Herald, God, you're Herald. Them. I was one of them. I liked it, but I only but I but I built the deck in such a way that I could go into Herald of Ultimateness. But I had I just scratched my Yu-Gi-Oh Bega. Yeah, I I would make sure mm. to have as much I would, to have like as many pivots as I could. Because there are, like, some really solid Ritual cards. Like, Ritual, like, 
like some like Konami. There was a period of time where Konami was just like rituals are never gonna be playable. Let's give the they most gave us voiceless voice bad shit. The most and the and the amount of decks that can be run in voiceless voice technically is insane. Like yeah, genuinely, you can play it with branded is the first one that comes to mind instantly. I'm just talking about like you know ritual cards, like light ritual monsters. Like that there is a there is a lot of light ritual monsters available in that deck. Um, that but that being said, um, have you guys had any notable duels this week at all? Not, Not really this week. But I fought a rap for a sandwich last week on EDO Pro. Because basically what I was doing, I was playing with my good buddies, TDW0333, also known as Zero, or as I like to call him, Trace, as well as another Digital Warrior 0264, who we call Omitted. Basically, it was me and Omitted versus Trace, and yet somehow Trace managed to mop us. Like, Man. in a two against it one. Fucked. You know, there are some times, Digi, that when... Like, I think in this, and I feel bad because it's, I, I, I think it, it, can, it can come off as mean if I'm not careful. Um, Be mean. Sometimes I, when I play with, when I play against, when I, when I see Trace trouncing y'all, I kind of want to come in as like Big Brother Yu-Gi-Oh and say, all right, let me put the bully in his place for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I definitely feel that. Like, because despite the fact that you managed to mop me plenty of times in Master Duel as well, no, absolutely, <laughs> no, absolutely. I, I, I distinctly remember. Um, I didn't have to do it. I did it for the meme, Nairless. I made, yeah. I think three, no, two or three, uh, Shangri Laws. Two or three. And had lethal repeatedly. But oh man. Pat like stacked two. stack negates past turn and decked him out. That's really funny. Yeah, interesting. Cringe behavior, to be sure. Sure sounds like Also, why did they me. give why did they give Fire Kings a waifu? Who? Huh? Oh, Flame Banshee. I don't know. Here's what it is. Uh, uh, just real quick, no comments. At, no comments. Y'all want to talk about from your comment section? What's the comment section? Fair enough. Real. Comment section. Uh, I mean, and... in all honesty, there was that one thing I wanted to establish with you guys earlier that I brought up in the chat that we established. Oh, we're getting. To, we're getting to that. We're getting to that. Okay. And uh, moving into part one. So during this entire uh, podcast, by the way, uh, Digi here has, what was at his work, has recently started picking up Yu-Gi-Oh! Specifically Legacy of Destruction, and he's been opening up some uh, packs and stuff while we've been hanging out. And I'm curious, Digi. Actually, uh, I was waiting for you guys to give me the cue to do that. I've been waiting this whole time. Started the, the, the your cue was the starting. <laughs> You, the Q was the oh, starting, okay. Digi. It's okay. <laughs> the Q was my the bad. start of the episode. Uh, start my turn bad. one through those my packs, bad. my guy. <laughs> <laughs> but in but the meantime, though, I wanted to go through up? it with you guys for sure. Tell you what, how about we? How about what we do this? Uh, let's yeah. give a five five to ten minute uh, bathroom break. Come back and, and you, for you listening, ladies and gents, you're not going to notice anything. I'm going to pause the recording, but then. Uh, I'm going to get some water and take care of the cats real quick. Digi, you open some packs, and then we come back and we can take a look at what you oh, pulled. I'll open them all right now. Let's fucking go! I feel Man. Like restarted, I believe. Uh, Digi, question. Hmm. Uh, so what, so... I any, got them uh, all open. Nice. Any Anything valuable so far? Um, honestly, it's hard to tell. I think I'll let you guys decide. Let me actually right, pull up so... Legacy of Destruction and what's like, and what's what's valuable in it. Legacy. Honestly, from what I've heard, it's not that good of a pack. Uh, 
pat set. Really, it's really mm. not honestly because all the good meta defining stuff is like common. Damn. Good senpai. So you're saying I just got a bunch of common cards then? Well, no. The stuff that's important to the actual like card game itself is common, which oh, is narrows. good. Uh, sorry, I'm explaining things a little too much. Uh, yeah. Like, the meta-defining stuff is all, like, super cheap, which is great for me as a budget player, but, like, it's not super good for people that are collectors. Uh, well, right. fuck. Well, nobody likes the fucking collectors anyway. Um, Snake Eyes, Diabell Star. Point. Snake Eye Diabell. Yeah, this is a, this is a, uh, 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 collectors hate podcast. Not saying that you all can't like, you can't like shiny cards, but... This this game can't be bullshit expensive because y'all want like the pretty shit. Um, Man. they have the Snake Idea. So they have the uh, Snake Eyes Dia Bell Star, which is a card. Hmm. Right. Hmm. And the Ragnarika okay. cards are in this deck too. Hmm? Oh. Okay. That's also true. The Ragnarika stuff is just quite funny. And the Ten Pies in this set as well. That's also true. So if you pull any of the Tempai uh, Super or Ultra Rares, that is pretty solid money. It is. Ooh, solid money. Along with the okay. Valmonica, along with the Valmonica stuff, too. Valmonica hasn't been released to TCG yet. You mean Melodious? Hmm. No, it's, uh, this is right. Legacy of Destruction, right? Yeah, I got Legacy of Destruction. Yeah, the some Valmonica, a Valmo couple Valmonica cards are in Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Sorry, I'm eating the uh, stuffed crazy bread. All okay. good. There we go. Alright, so starting us off, we have our token card of Yugi Muto and Gandora Cross, the Dragon of Demolition, or as I mentioned earlier, Gandora X. Just Sounds just a, cool. just a head just a heads up, Digi. Can you give us just yeah. the highlights of like just to highlight us with the, the shiny cards? Because if we're going through every single one, we'll be here for a while. Oh the shiny cards. Just okay. just the shiny card. Like the Ultras. Alright, so first shiny card I've got is a spell card known as Multi Universe. Pretty interesting card, if you ask me. Vanadium. Hey, wait a minute, where my spell guard go? That's a great question. Do you want me to go into the description of it? Yeah, just go, just go, just go, if, if you, it's up to you, but I'd say just go, like, start naming the cards, and then if we, uh, All right. and then we'll put a pin in it. If Let's there's see, we are on to our next shiny card, which is also a spell card by the name of Blessing of the Voiceless Voice. There's what the a coincidence, the, you guys there's... were talking about Voiceless Voice a whole bunch a little bit ago. That's actually that... one of the new support that just came out. It's it goofy, is. it's a goofy-ass card. Alrighty then, let's see. Ooh, a link card. I've never had a link card before. Ragnarika Skeletal Soldier. Why didn't ah, it just shiny. Dragon? Ah, yes. So the Ragnarika stuff is basically um do you know what Tri Brigade is, Digi? No, please tell me. Tri Brigade is an archetype that take that basically uh takes allows you if to use beast beast warrior and winged beast monsters and basically allows you to link summon beast winged beast and beast warrior monsters by banishing uh monsters in your graveyard that are oh, beast damn. wing beast and, and 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 beast warrior now what this basically does is is, is that it's a uh it's it, they all they are a, a few one um tri brigade monster can Special summon itself. Another one can search for another card, and and another and, and the last and, and another one is able to basically uh, uh, a foolish burial on discard. And the goal of them is base in the and the goal of them is basically to get as many warriors, beasts, and beast warriors into the graveyard as possible to be able to have a lot of fodder to summon a bunch of big binguses from the extra deck using links. Now Ragnarika is almost this premise but using insect plant and reptiles this deck by the way 
insects, mm-hmm. which are some of which are some of the most spammable uh, 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 types of monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, uh, oh but, boy, spammable. Uh, um, same thing with plants. Plants are also quite dis- like insects, plants, and reptiles are the um, basically the forgotten types. They are ones where, like, they, I say forgotten, not like, you know, that, like, they didn't win YGO, YCS Europe with, uh, uh, Sun, with Sun Avalon Rika. But, mm-hmm. basically, in a nutshell, the insect cards, the plant cards, and the reptile cards are all able to do really disgusting things. In theory, they just have not, they just don't necessarily have, a, like... Plants are generally the one, are, are have a lot of options. They don't have super duper powerful extra deck monsters, but it's certainly better than the other two. There's a reason they won worlds. They they can be pretty consistent and have some things. Insects have some pretty goofy archetypes that are able to do crazy things. Um, they work in quirky ways that aren't always fantastic, but they are you are able to they're able to swarm, pun intended, relatively easily. They don't have they, they they don't have a lot of options as far as they have a lot some options as far as extra monsters are concerned but the best ones are mm-hmm. either archetype you know are xeno locked through archetypes or xeno locked through into just insects which isn't fantastic um and reptiles are are probably the worst of the bunch they have pro- they have even better main deck support compared to both plant and insect but even less representation in the extra deck it's it's foul, honestly. The best card that they have, I think, is basically just the biggest that searches occasionally. Mm. But reptiles also okay. have a card called Snake Rain, which allows you to discard a reptile monster and then pitch four reptiles of your choosing from deck to grave. So, do you remember how I, I told you a uh, Tri Brigade works? I think so, yeah. Do you now ever relate it to how Ragnarika works? Uh, Banish a bunch of monsters from the graveyard to link summon a bunch of Binguses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Without having to... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Remember what I said with Snake Rain? Discard Mm. one reptile monster, pitch four reps... Get to mill four reptiles from your deck to the graveyard. You can now have Mm. access to a link four of your choosing off of one card. Okay. That's there interesting are right there. Definitely a crazy deck. It is absolutely not strong enough compared to Fire King Snake Eyes at present times, but that doesn't mean it, it's not a good time. Nonetheless. God knows Char was playing it and kicked the shit out of me. <laughs> On to the and next me. one. <laughs> Almost. Always. On to the next one, Digi. Thank you for your patience. Anyways, I've got two shinies left. We are now in a dark monster by the name of Embers of the Ashen, and it is a fusion monster. The Dark Souls archetype. Yes, sir. Oh man. And I hear, and I hear that thematically they're really cool. They just don't do enough. They really don't, as sad as it is. And as cool as they are, they really are just kind of shit. It's, it's... I'm just excited for the fucking archetype that's going to get uh, Beatrice banned. Which one is that? Fiendsmith. Oh yeah, the Fiendsmith shit. I don't know anything okay. about the Fiendsmith cards. Ah. Level 6, Light Fiend. That's all you oh. gotta know. Oh shit! Yeah, no, that that's that's war crimey to the max. And you want to get Fiendsmith into, <laughs> and you want, crime. and you want to get the Fiendsmith into the graveyard. So if you use Beatrice to mill him, it's great. Mm-hmm. Disgusting. And the last card, Digi. Okay, the last one is a spell card by the name of Battle Guard Echoes, and it is a continuous spell card. Battle Guard. Sounds like I'm retrain that. Battle Guards. Fuck yeah. Oh, is the battle guards like the fucking um, Tristan and Joey's? Uh... Yup, that really that that one oh, really boy. shitty archetype from Dual Monsters era that did literally nothing. Fucking all Dual Monsters era. Oh boy. Wait, yeah, give me first turn. Yeah. When you add... go second, my guy. 
when this card is activated, mm. you can add. Yeah, didn't they ban Isold? They sure did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This would be a quite the uh, consistency booster if Icehold was still legal, but Icehold isn't, so get fucked. Damn. Yeah, so in turn, get cooked. All right, now to add these to the deck. Goodness gracious, I just noticed, like, with all the cards from my older version of my deck compared with these new ones I just got... <laughs> yep they are all a mountain of card text oh yeah definitely now i'm actually starting to think like this was actually a pretty decent haul so maybe i could probably get like another box next week for next week's winston um as much as i would not recommend that it's on you my guy yeah you, it's up to you. i'm just gonna I've, say i've made I... that mistake of getting weekly booster boxes in hopes to pull a handful of cards it's the sole Personally, reason that yeah, I probably just... won't be able to afford college if I don't get more shifts at my current job. Oh no! <laughs> I I spent more than I'd like to admit. I would, I, if I'm being honest, if you're gonna, I would much rather. I would like. I'm gonna be honest with you, Digi. I would much rather you buy a, a, a Discord server subscription than do that shit every week. Discord server yeah. subscription. That that would do it's more directly support Evan. Yeah, like oh. if you get that, that would do more to help a brother out than that. It costs a fraction of the price. Yeah, true. Hey, yeah, look, true. I can play through D Shifter. Personally, I just no. wanted to have something to talk about. No, like, huh? the last fair. few times no, I was in there, it was just like, oh yeah, that's totally interesting. And tonight, I I actually had a lot to talk about. That's fair. <laughs> hey, that's fair. Okay. To, I'll make you. Hey, instead of getting a whole ass booster box, just get a pack. Just get a booster pack. True. Just get one singular oh. booster pack, and we'll and we'll go through it. To, and, and we'll go through it that way. That way, you don't have to spend eighty to ninety fucking dollars on a booster box, and you only have I to only spend like, like twenty on this one. Is that twenty? He did yeah, you get the only did twenty dollars? Did you? Oh, uh, did you get the um employee discount? Yeah, I had the employee one. Oh, and even man. then, I I got it for a little less than. Like these particular boxes that we were selling at the store, really didn't cost that much. That's because they're trying to. That's because Legacy of Destruction uh didn't sell super well because people were able to get kind of like like the, the a lot of a, a lot of the cards are missing. It, it's just supporting older a couple older archetypes and. It's mm. the first wave of of support of, of of a lot of new archetypes, like the Tenpai stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. It needs uh, a couple more things. It needs, I think, the uh, Yellow Dragon, which it doesn't have yet. Uh, it needs the uh, voiceless the voiceless voice stuff d needs low. It needs needs low. If Otherwise, you don't have three low, you lose. Yeah. Yep. Oh man. <clears throat> and um, it the and uh, the uh, and the Ragnarika stuff is probably like fine, but it's not gonna be it's not gonna be the top three decks at present or the top three, the top archetypes at present. Also, about how many more of those you got, water. bitch? <laughs> None. <laughs> but that's uh, that's I think it for today's round uh, round table, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very much for listening. We appreciate you, your time, and your listenership. Um, at time and of money. at money, please de yes, like, <laughs> money. I, like I said, please uh, donate at hmedia.hmedia.gg slash tip. Uh, you get early access videos, guaranteed spots in the Winston Cup, and uh, uh, exclusive videos among other perks. As low as a dollar a month at hmedia.gg slash tip, I am very poor. And speaking of the Winston Cup, we have one at time of posting. It is in five hours. What? Oh, huh? fuck. That'd be like two in the morning for at... me. No, no, no. I said time of posting. This bitch is oh, coming out. Uh, at okay, like, that's right. At, at like I'm 2 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time. So, in, so it's, oh. like, it's like five, six hours after that is the Winston Cup. Sorry, people. Oh, okay. Fucking few. <laughs> 
But, I was about to say, I can't stay awake that but, long. But yes, you guys will be able to watch the Winston Cup uh, at hivmedia.gg slash live. Uh, and that will also have links directly to our um, our live streams there too. You can watch natively on the website on either Twitch or Kick. Uh, and uh, if you would prefer to watch on YouTube, I'm still working out how to get the native YouTube live streaming stuff to work properly. Bear with me. Um, I keep clicking leave instead of room code. I hate my life. Nice. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Digi. You can find him on twitch.tv slash uh, tdw underscore 8021. You can find Char here at uh, youtube.com. Huh? Kill me, please. No. You can find... you. Let's see if he just why is my Mike my Campbell thing? Okay, no worries. You can find um Chara at uh youtube.com slash not chara six six two, I think. I have no idea, dude. That's one minute. Fair enough. Fair. <laughs> and uh Nairless on at youtube.com slash under slash nairless underscore. That's N A I R less underscore. Gentlemen, thank you so very much for, for joining you. Joining us, and let's see if I learned uh, how to play this shit well enough to win a game. Thanks for having me. Thank you, you for soon. having us.